Hello, welcome to second video tutorial of WinTR SCADA. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get reports inside the WinTR SCADA, which based on previous step-by-step -step first project tutorial. If you have no previous experience with the WinTR SCADA, firstly, I suggest you watch step-by-step -step first project tutorial. In that tutorial, we set up a Modbus TCP IP connection with the simulator and displayed values on the chart and gauge objects and we exported historical values in PDF and Excel formats. Reports are the selected outputs of the historical data which can be displayed as a chart and list and can also be exported in PDF and Excel formats. I'm starting by opening the project that I saved on previous tutorial. I will design the report as fetching historical data between selected two date time variable which specified by the user. So I need to create two tags for holding the date time values. I am creating two tags as date 1 and date 2 in date time type. And second tag date 2 and date time type. I'm closing the connection manager. Now I'm opening screen designer for for designing the screen. I will create necessary objects for displaying the report on the screen. I'm creating a space for data grid and date time picker objects. I'm right clicking on empty space in the screen and selecting date time picker object. I want to make time selection on date time picker as a second, minute and hour. So I am setting this style property to time and I'm copying this daytime picker object and paste on the screen. I am adding a button on the screen for executing report command. After adding button object to the screen, I am assigning date tags to the daytime picker objects. Date 1 tag for daytime picker 1. Day 2 tag for the date time picker 2. And I'm arranging button object. I'm specifying a text to appear. I'm making it bold and a little bigger. I'm moving them to bottom for adding data grid object. I am adding it to screen from .NET components menu. It will be better if I place charts legend at the top. So I'm selecting its wizard and select legend docking at the top. Now I can start designing the report. So I'm closing the screen designer and opening control panel and report manager tab. In WinTR SCADA, report design is divided into steps. And the first one is selecting the connected database for the creating report. The database is the file that historical data is saved into. In the database file, all historical data located in a single table. SQL Server is the one of the most advanced relational database management system. It performs adding, deleting and fetching data operations on the file for us. This means we connect the database through SQL Server and send the commands to it by the queries. After this brief explanation about database and SQL Server, let's look at how we access them from Winter SCADA. The first property we talk about is server name field. Server name field is for specifying address and instance name for connected SQL Server. The local here is the address of the SQL Server on the network. This could be any IP address as well. 
and the WinTR is the instance name of the connected SQL server. Because of more than one SQL server can be installed in single machine, we must provide the instance name for connecting specific SQL server. WinTR SCADA installs SQL server with same name itself. So we write here WinTR as an instance name. And we must provide the username and password for connecting SQL server. These are default username and password. And I'm confirming these parameters by clicking test connection. I'm clicking database listing button for listing all databases on the SQL server. Now we can select any database for reporting at the bottom combo box. I'm selecting my own projects database. I'm clicking green arrow button and proceed to next step. At this moment, let's take a closer look to our database in the SQL Server. I'm going to use SQL Server Management Studio Express for this. You can download it completely free. SQL Server Management Studio Express allows browsing in SQL Server and making configurations very easy. I am starting it and connecting to SQL Server. I am expanding databases at the left and I can see all databases in the SQL Server. Now my project database is sample database. I am expanding it and see the table 1 which contains my project's all historical tag values. I am right clicking on it and clicking open table. This is the table that contains all historical tag values of our project. Last value, date time and not set are the columns that created by the WinTR SCADA. These are the columns that all WinTR projects has. However, the other columns are created for the historical tags. In our report, among this table, we get only the data that interest us. For example, with three tag values, this data block could be our report output. You can get really complicated reports if you can write correct SQL queries. After this brief introduction of SQL Server Management Studio Express, I'm closing it. This report creating step, we will select column and tags for the comparing date values. Column name for reporting database comma box at the left side. I'm selecting date time column. I'm selecting date time column for the ending row as well. And for comparing tags, I'm selecting date one and date two. And I'm selecting the columns that will take a place in my report. So I'm selecting date time, tank 1 temp, tank 2 temp and tank 3 temp. I'm proceeding to next step and I see my created query at the top. Here I see the my date 1 and date 2 tags placed in the query. To see actual date 1 and date 2 tag values in the query, I click calculate query button. I'm modifying it to get a value and I'm clicking execute query button and I see the output at the bottom. Here is my selected columns. I'm proceeding to next step. In this step I'm gonna select screen for the displaying report and data grid and chart objects. In select screen comma box, I'm selecting screen 1 and I check show on data grid checkbox and selecting data grid view 6 for holding the report then checking show on chart and select chart 0 for holding report then date time for the x-axis of the chart. I want my report exported to PDF so I'm selecting export to PDF. 
I'm selecting folder for the saving to PDF file and I'm checking show PDF after creating report and Excel tab I'm selecting export to Excel and selecting the folder and show Excel after creating report checkbox now I can save the report I'm clicking save button and saving it by giving a name I'm giving report template name for the report template I'm closing control panel and I'm going to my screen designer again I'm going to specify a tooltip for chart and data grid objects these tooltips will be placed in the report I am giving tank temperature chart tooltip for the chart hit enter and for the data grid tooltip I'm giving tank temperature list for calling the report from the runtime I'm right clicking on the button and select properties function mouse down in function wizard window I'm assigning report template to the buttons mouse down function this is the whole thing I need to do in development mode now I can switch to runtime mode now from daytime picker objects I'm selecting dates and time as a second minute an hour after making selections I will click get report then report will be generated I click get report and report is being generated and I see here PDF report 24 pages long I see report template is a title here it's my reports name and username who gets the report and time for the reporting below chart tooltip statement as a chart title and data grid tooltip statement as a list title and excel output at the first line i see report template my report title administrator is user and the date of the reporting in this video i try to demonstrate the reporting in the wintr scada thanks for the watching